Dear students, welcome to mathematics class. This is Prakash Pankar from Tunga Degree College. In the last video, we have discussed the definition of group. So, let us recapitulate the definition of group. So, here it is the definition. A non-empty set G with a binary operation star is said to be a group if it satisfies the following laws. The first one is closure law that is for all A comma B belongs to G it implies A star B belongs to G. Second one is associative law for all A B C belongs to G then A star B star C is equal to A star B star C. Then the third one is identity law for all A belongs to G then there exists an element E belongs to G such that A star E is equal to E star A is equal to the element A itself. So, if this condition satisfied then that E is called as the identity element of the set G. Then the fourth one is inverse law. For all A belongs to G there exists an element A inverse belongs to G such that A star A inverse is equal to A inverse star A is equal to E. So, here this A inverse is the inverse of A means if you operate star on these two elements A and A inverse the output must be the identity element of the set G. If these four laws satisfied for a non-empty set G along with the binary operation star then that G is the group along with the binary operation star. So, this is the symbolic representation for a group along with the binary operation star. And now let us discuss some examples on groups. The first one is here the first example show that the set of integers z is a group under addition. So, already we know how the set of integers will be. So, let us consider that z is equal to 0 plus or minus 1 plus or minus 2 plus or minus 3 and so on up to infinity. So, here that set is the infinite set consisting the elements 0 plus or minus 1 plus or minus 2 plus or minus 3 and so on. So, here we need to show that this set z is the group under addition means here the binary operation is addition. So, the first law that is the closer law the general definition of this law is for all a comma b belongs to g a star b must be in g. So, let a comma b belongs to z let us consider the two elements a and b in the set of integers. So, here we know that sum of any two integers is again an integer. So, therefore, if you add these two integers a and b then their sum is also integer. So, therefore, here a comma b belongs to z then it implies that a plus b is also an integer that is a plus b belongs to z. So, this is possible for all the integers. So, therefore, for all a comma b belongs to z it implies a plus b belongs to z. So, therefore, if this condition satisfied then we can say that closure law satisfied for the set z. So, therefore, closure law satisfied. So, the first law satisfied. Then the second one is associative law. Associative law. Let us consider the three integers a, b and c belongs to z. 
So, already we know how the associative law will be for the addition. First we have to add A and B, then for this sum we need to add C, then it is equal to A plus B plus C because we know that addition is associative in nature. So, therefore, whatever the set given the associative law will satisfy for the binary operation addition. So, therefore, A plus B plus C is equal to A plus B plus C. Therefore, associative law satisfied. Then the third one is identity law. So, here to prove this identity law, we have to recognize one element that element must be like that if we add any element to the considered element the sum must be the element itself. So, here if you add any number to 0 then there will be no difference in the considered element. So, therefore, let 0 belongs to z because 0 is an integer that is 0 plus a is equal to a plus 0 is equal to a only. So, here 0 is the element of the set of integers z and a is the any element of z. Then if you add a to 0 then the sum is a itself because that 0 will not make any difference in the quantity a. So, therefore, 0 plus a is equal to a plus 0 is equal to a. So, this is for a all a belongs to z. So, therefore, we can say that 0 is the identity element. In general, 0 is the identity element for the binary operation addition. If the binary operation is addition, then it is fixed that 0 is the identity element. Then fourth one is inverse law. Inverse law. So, here if a belongs to z, if a is any integer that is the positive integer of z, then there is the same number with the negative sign that is minus a belongs to z because the set of integer consists of the positive numbers as well as the negative numbers. So, therefore, if a belongs to z then minus a belongs to z such that such that a plus minus a is equal to minus a plus a is equal to 0. So, here if you add minus a to a or a to minus a then the result is 0 that 0 is nothing but the identity element of z. So, here if you add minus a to plus a or plus a to minus a then the result must be equal to 0 only. If any other value is coming then we cannot say that this minus a is the inverse of a. So, therefore, here that is minus a is the inverse of plus a. So, therefore, every element therefore, every element has an inverse. So, therefore, here all the four laws they are closer law, associative law, identity law and inverse law. So, all the four laws satisfied for the set z under the binary operation addition. So, therefore, we can say that z plus is a group, z plus is a group. So, here to prove any set is a group then we have to satisfy 
the four laws they are closure law associative law identity law and inverse law so if all the four laws satisfied then only the given set is a group if any law is not satisfied then we cannot say that the given set is a group along with the given binary operation the next example is show that the set of natural numbers is not a group under addition so here we need to prove that the set of natural numbers is not a group so any set is not a group if it is not satisfied any one law in those four laws closer law associative law identity law and inverse law if any one law is not satisfied among those four then we cannot say that that given set is a group so therefore here already it is given that we need to prove that the set of natural numbers is not a group under the binary operation addition so for that we know that the set of natural numbers n is equal to 1 2 3 and so on so it is starting from 1 and all the positive numbers will be there in the set of natural numbers so let us consider the first law that is closer law now for all a comma b belongs to n so if you consider any two natural numbers a and b and also we know that the sum of any two natural numbers is again a natural number so therefore here we can write that a plus b belongs to n so here closer law satisfied because the statement of the closer law is for all a comma b belongs to the given set g then it implies that a star b belongs to g that is the general statement so here the binary operation is addition and the given set is the set of natural numbers so therefore the sum of any two natural numbers is again a natural number so therefore closer law satisfied closer law satisfied and second one that is associative law so here let abc belongs to the set of natural numbers capital n so here we know that addition is associative for all the numbers whatever may be the given set it may be integers or natural numbers or real numbers or any other number but the addition is always associative in nature so therefore associative law will satisfy for this set of natural numbers along with the binary operation addition so therefore a plus b plus c is equal to a plus b plus c so here if the binary operation is addition then do not bother about the associative law that will satisfy for all the numbers then so therefore here associative law satisfied then the third one is identity law so here already i told that if the binary operation is addition then zero will be the identity element so here the set of natural numbers is given but the element zero does not belong to the set of natural numbers then we can say that identity law will not satisfy for the set of natural numbers so here we know that for addition zero is the identity element for addition zero is the identity element but zero does not belong to n so here identity element must be in the given set but here the given set is the set of natural numbers and this set does not contain zero so therefore identity law is not satisfied 
for the set of natural numbers n. Then the fourth one is inverse law. So here no need to write the inverse law because here we need to prove that it is not a group. So, but closure law satisfied, associative law satisfied and identity law not satisfied. So, by this only we can conclude that the set of natural numbers is not a group under addition. But here we need not write that inverse law. But for our convenience we are writing the inverse law. So, here for all A belongs to the set of natural numbers minus A is the inverse because the binary operation is addition. If the binary operation is addition then the inverses of positive numbers will be the negative numbers and the inverses of negative numbers will be the positive numbers. So, therefore, if A belongs to N then its inverse will be minus A under addition. So, but, but minus A does not belong to N because it is a set of natural numbers and it is contain only positive integers except 0. So, therefore, minus A does not belong to N then it implies that inverse law not satisfied. Inverse law not satisfied. Therefore, N plus is not a group. So, therefore, n plus is not a group because it is not satisfying inverse law as well as identity law. So, if the question is show that the set of natural numbers is not a group, then here you can write closure law, associative law, identity law and inverse law. If any one law is not satisfied, then the given set is not a group under the respective binary operation. Here the binary operation is addition. So, therefore, it is not a group under addition and it is denoted by n plus the set of natural numbers along with the binary operation addition.